Big up Sajid, big up Ziggy, big up Kian, big up um, Duane. What's good people, it's your boy Terry Clark back with another video. Alright, so today I'll be reacting to my first interview. Why not? Alright, let's get it, my. <laughs> Well, my full name is Tariq Dawood Clark. My age is 17 years. I'm 17, I'm 19 now, so yeah. Well, photography for me, um, probably 11 years. Um, I started off at a wedding and I was six years of age at the time. Mm -hmm. And I had to my uncle O'Neill. Yeah. And uncle O'Neill and Katie. Uh -huh. um, as an amateur. Yeah, I was real nervous here too. I was real nervous. So two years back, I started it professionally. Yeah, you yeah, never get a moment where you don't like the way you look. My inspiration. Like, <laughs> you don't even like the way you look. Two like local photographers. Yeah, Sajid Usani and... Yeah, big up Sajid. Big up Ziggy, big up Kian. Big up um, Duane. Yeah, man. I basically wanted to be a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff growing up. I wanted to be um, a pilot, architect, engineer. Ah, so in architecture at university, was, so... But two years later, I actually, um, you know, pursued... That, that, that feel, you know? Until I got recommended to actually pursue it as a business and a job. Mm -hmm. And this is Two years later, to look at me, why? <laughs> Next five years. Where I see myself in five years? I see myself as one of the top photographers in Guyana. Bomb. And one of the most creative um, photographers in Guyana. Hey. I also see myself as someone who has a renowned household name in persons. In hey. Hey, I mean, hey. I mean, like, when people walk on the road and they see me, they should just be like, oh my god. <laughs> I want to picture something, you know? Let's start it back. Yo, yo, yo. In two years, actually, uh, Two years, in fact, less than two years actually did that. So one year ago. So, I feel real good, you know? My advice for other photographers is that this is not necessarily a cheap hobby or profession. Exactly, it's, very it's not cheap. And um, the competition is, is very high in the animal. I would change, I didn't competition with myself. Internationally, is even... I would, even I would change the statement, no. Um, I see the competition is with myself. If you really... The person I was really yesterday. Like you should just pursue it and... Be creative. That is the most important thing about it. Be creative and... Just try to educate yourself. Yeah, boy. Every day, I used to be on YouTube, looking at videos. From the time I got home, Till about four o'clock in the morning every single day. Yo, and I, I not even kidding right now. Yeah, every single day was like that. So, you know, it's, it's actually amazing to see where it came from in, you know, in two years, it's actually amazing. Today, I'm having my second article in the newspapers back in my home country. So, you know, that, that, that is an achievement, you know, that I could really, um. I could really be proud of, you know? Because I'm only 19. I'm only 19, got two articles in the newspaper about my craft already. And, you know, that, that is really a good achievement for me, you know? I want to make a shout out to, um, to Gabby because, you know, she, 
she's the one who actually helped, you know, me in that aspect of my career. You know, and I really, um, I'm appreciative of everything that she has done in terms of supporting and helping me. And everyone in my contacts, like, on my WhatsApp, I want to pick up for Misha. She, she's, like, one of the biggest supporters on my YouTube channel right now. Big up for Misha. You know, big up for Ali. All these people. You know what I'm saying? It's really, it's really nice to, you know, get this done and everything. So this was, um, this was a good video, you know, um, I look back at it. Um, I guess two years from now, I look back at this video and then assess myself, you know, in a certain way. Or even look back at that same video, see where I am in five years. You know what I'm saying? Two years probably been gone. So I got three more left to see, you know, exactly where I would be in the next five years. Um, I've done a lot. I've bought my dream camera already within the first year. I bought my dream camera. You know, um, when I first started out, I used to edit on a phone. I used to edit on a phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? This, this is not a joke. I used to, bro. I used to edit on a phone, bro. The camera I had wasn't even my own. I used to borrow the camera. You know what I'm saying? But the drive, the drive to own, to have your own, this what kept me pushing. A lot of people, when I, when I started, a lot of people keep saying, oh, I should do this, and I should do that, and oh, you're doing this wrong, and you're this and you're done, and all kind of things. And the reason I said, um, sorry to Sunny, you know, as a first name there is because he was the person who actually told me, hey, Stop listening to people. Do your own thing and be creative. You're going to be unique. He is probably the best photographer you ever right now. And it's because he's unique. You know? So if, you know, anyone you're looking at this video and you want to be a photographer or something in this art, or, you know, you want to pursue it, something, you know, just, just be unique. Don't listen to people. Don't... Don't listen to negative people. I mean, I had a lot of hate, a lot of negative people coming towards me because, oh, I probably did a photo shoot with this model that they wanted to do, or, or something of this art, you know? I had a whole lot of negative come, but, you know, I've learned to grow, to, you know, face it out and just don't care what people say. Yeah. I really enjoy how to do it because I used to be touched like a lot of you could have gotten my skin, you know, when it comes to um, the negative comments and so on. But at the end of the day, I don't really see the negative comments, you know what I'm saying? It's not a sign that I don't even notice you. Honestly, I don't even notice the hate because I'm so full of positivity, you know what I'm saying? I'm so positive. I don't really care. You know, about the negative somebody would try to see it wherever I'm doing. And so on, if I'm doing it to the best of my ability, that's why I use it, for. you know? Because stop listening to what people say, is what got me where I am. If I had only kept on listening to what people had to say, I would have never been here in less, less than five years. I would have not been here. You know what I'm so, yeah. That was me having a real moment here. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, this video was really good. Um, I really liked, you know, this entire thing, um, this entire journey that I've been, you know, for the last two years. Um, straight out of high school, I know I didn't want to, you know, be in the car or be at home. I didn't want to do certain things because I knew that I had to make it some way, some way, somehow. I had to do something. But I was not going to be at home. I was not going to wait for someone to interview me and then say, oh, that spot is filled already. I had to go and find something, you know, off my own, something unique. 
you know what I'm saying, CXE coming out just now. I mean, some of you guys are probably probably looking at this, you know, um, do I have a plan as yet or something, but all I could say is, you know, just get your plan, get a plan. You know, you gotta start early in life. Once you start early, you can retire early. You know what I'm saying? If you get every, if you get everything that you need, you know where you want to go. You know where you must be within a certain period of time. Yo, I just said five years. I did not even expect three quarters of my life today. You know what I'm saying? I never expected because. All I, uh, in my head, um, what I'm going to do it as a hobby. And, you know, if it works, it works. If not, if not. You know, but I kept trying new stuff. I remember back in high school, I used to be dancing. I used to try dance and I tried, I tried a lot of things. I tried singing and I tried um, athletics. A lot of stuff I tried. I even, I even did bodybuilding when I was in high school. And... You know, for me, I was like, I don't know if it's going to work back home, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's going to work in my home country. Because, you know, the support is not really there, but, you know, you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. It's just the belief that, you know, got me to where I'm in the next time because... When I started, a lot of people didn't believe in me. A lot of people say, oh, who <laughs> you think you're going to become? You know, you're not going to not be nothing. No, oh, let me get no place for the where, um, in Guyana. The streamers you're talking about, by. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Right? So I didn't really have no, I didn't really have no support. Not even from some of my friends. Some people worked out with close friends. I didn't even have support from them. So yeah, um, I'm gonna bring this video to the end, to the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, share, subscribe, everything. Yeah, I understand. Put the um, click the bell, click the bell, right next to the subscribe button. Yeah, that's that. So yeah, this is the end of this video. Do up yourself. Um, I try to post, you know, more frequent. Add a little rest. <laughs> Add a little rest. I got some videos to be um, to be released. I got some videos to be released. Um, I got Ali Vinci and Jumo Primo um video to be released. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming, man. A lot of stuff coming.